Now we all know what a kite looks like, right? And we can probably even fly one on our own, especially those of you in Chicago. But do you know the characteristics and the geometry behind this wonderful shape? In this series, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about kites and their geometry so that you can complete proofs, find missing angle measures and dimensions. Let's talk about vertex and non-vertex angles. So what you're looking at here on the right side is an example of vertex angles. Vertex angles are formed between two congruent sides. So these two sides are the exact same from this point to this point. We have the exact same distance from this point to this point. We're dealing with congruent sides there and you can tell that through the markings. One dash, one dash. Here we got two and two, meaning this side is congruent with this side. Okay, vertex angles are formed when they are in between two congruent sides. So this side and this side form that angle, making it a vertex angle. This side is the same as this side, forming this angle, meaning it is a vertex angle, okay? Our non-vertex angles are the angles that are formed from two sides that are different. We've got the one marking up here, two markings here, telling me that this side and this side are not the same, they are not congruent. So what they are going to form are these angles here and here, which we call non-vertex angles. Take a second and think, is there anything you might know about some non-vertex angles when dealing with a kite? I bet you can figure out exactly what I'm about to tell you. Something pretty neat about kites is that their non-vertex angles here and here are going to be congruent. What that means is that if I tell you that this angle measure is 142 degrees, we immediately know that the side over here, excuse me, the angle over here is also going to be 142 degrees. This is a very helpful piece of information when working your way through proofs in geometry. Another important characteristic of a kite is if we were to draw a diagonal through our vertex angles, we've got a vertex angle here and a vertex angle here. Remember that comes from two congruent sides. These two sides being the same, create this vertex angle. These two sides being the same, create this vertex angle. And if I draw a diagonal through those two vertex angles, it acts as an angle bisector for each one. Meaning if the overall angle up here was, let's say 50 degrees, now that I've drawn a diagonal going through the two vertex angles, each one of those now, that one is now 25 degrees, and this one over here would also be 25 degrees, because again, it is an angle bisector of that vertex angle. The kite diagonal theorem states that when we draw two diagonals of the kite, so we've got our first diagonal already drawn here going through the vertex angles, and then our two non-vertex angles, we're gonna draw a diagonal going across that way. What this is going to form is perpendicular angles here in the center. We're gonna have 90 degrees here, 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 and here. We now have perpendicular lines creating 90 degree angles. And the last thing I wanna show you about kites is that we actually form two isosceles triangles when we do these diagonals, right? If I were to just kind of bold this out for you real quick, I'm gonna redraw this triangle that I'm showing right over here. We know this is an isosceles triangle because one thing we already know is that these are congruent and this one is not going to be over here. It could be, but in this case it's not. Um, now up here, what do we have? We've got a triangle as well up here, which is also going to be an isosceles triangle because we've got matching sides there. Those sides are congruent with a third side that is not. Now with all of that information, and some prerequisite skills that you should probably already have. You're gonna be able to answer proofs, complete proofs, answer questions about missing sides, and I'm gonna make some videos for you guys to show you how to do that here in this series. Hopefully this is helpful, study hard, and good luck on your upcoming test.